Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in with me today. All right, so Libra, you guys had the most views out of all of the videos I did. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you very much. Um, really means a lot to me, okay? Especially since I'm trying to build my channel. You guys are really helping out a lot. I appreciate you very, very much. All right, so I have another reading for you. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you have that placement anywhere in your chart, then there can possibly be a message here for you today. Keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general energy read, so this may or may not resonate with you. If this does not resonate with you, check out the other placements in your chart, especially your um, Moon and Venus. Your messages can be there. All right, flip flop the energies around. Do what you got to do. I can say he. It could be she, I could be saying them, it could be you. No, you guys know your story. But one thing I will say, if this is not your story, please do not try to make it your story. All right. All right. So we have a message. All right. So some of you guys are going to be receiving the message. Okay. So this if this hasn't already happened, what I want you guys to remember when we're dealing with tarot, unless I say 24 hours or 48 hours or Whatever the case might be, very specific, but this is just general. So this could have happened already, or this can be getting ready to happen in the near future. All right, you guys keep that in mind. Okay, so message, getting some type of message. This can be a letter in the mail. This can be text messages. This can be emails. I don't know. We're going to see though, but we do have a message here. We have communities. So there could be multiple people. This could be like a community of people that may be gossiping or just have a lot of people may have something to do with a situation or may know something about a situation or I don't know, but we're going to see. All right, Spirit, Libra. Messages for my Libras. We're not going to take all three of those. Messages for my Libras, please, Spirit. Message for Libra. We have bad health. All right, cause so somebody, somebody may be in a hospital. Somebody may be in um, some place where they may be like recovering. Someone may be like really sick and not doing very well right now. Um, it may be a situation that is stressing somebody out to the point where they're not doing well, like it's causing health issues. All right. And we have poverty, but it came in reverse. Okay. So we're going to leave it like that. All right. I don't usually take these cards in reverse though. I, I never do. But the message is still going to come out as whatever the message is going to be. So we just going to leave it like that. And then we have thoughts at the bottom of the deck. Somebody can be thinking about you right now. Somebody here could be an artist. They may have drawn a picture of you. They may be looking at the picture. But somebody is really, really, really. Somebody could be looking at pictures in their phone. Um, but somebody is really deep into their thoughts right now. They're really thinking about you. Or are you thinking about them? Somebody thinking about somebody. All right. All right, y'all. So let's see what this message is. Spirit, tell us about this message. Somebody's going to... Uh, some, I can't talk. Somebody might stutter or might just like have a problem getting their words out. I don't know because I wasn't stuttering until I started this video. So somebody may... <laughs> Somebody may not know how to say or may have a problem speaking to you or just saying, finding the right words to say. There we go. I got it out. All right. The hermit card, going within, doing some soul searching. All right. Um, trying to find direction. Okay. So I feel like somebody here is in hermit right now. Whoever this is that's getting ready to send this message. They may be trying to figure out the right words to say to you, <laughs> how to say the words to you, what to put into this message, um, email, text, letter, whatever the case may be. I feel like this person is in love with you. Nine of Cups. This person absolutely. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody here stutters or something. Oh my God. I I'm, I'm, absolutely was coming out, but I meant to say 
Yeah, somebody here may have some type of speech problem too. And if that's the case, I'm not laughing at that because that's not funny or whatever the case may be. But it's funny that I'm tripping over my words like this. Somebody here absolutely is in love with you. I feel like you are all this person thinks about. Or this can be you. You all, do you think about this person a lot? I don't know. Flip flop the energies around. Do what you got to do with it. But somebody here is in love. Like head over heels in love. All right. And I feel like it's whoever this is that is getting ready to send whomever this message. All right. We have the chariot. Somebody may want to come and see you. Mm -hmm. They want to offer you something romantic. We got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person may want to take you out. They want to, may want to take you like on a nice little date. They want to wine and dine you. They want to do something nice. But this person is definitely, you're, you're going to be getting a message, okay, from somebody. It could be a water sign, okay? Doesn't have to be. Um, but they want to come see you. Okay. This person want to come see you. They, they in love with you, Libra. This person is in love with you. They want to go out for some drinks. They want to kick it. They want to have a little bit of fun with you. They want you to loosen up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They do. You're going to be getting a message. Page of Wands. All right. So let's see what this community is. Let's see what this community is. You got the strength card. It may take a lot of courage, you know, for someone here to do something. Maybe this person may be... Um, we got... I'm going to see before I go on. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There was an ending. Something could have ended um, that was very painful. Well, something did end that was very painful. It's like somebody constantly did something, did somebody dirty, like over and over and over and over and over and over again. Like just constantly just stabbed them with swords. Every time they jumped around, this person put another sword and go back. And it was just kind of like, uh-uh, like, no, I'm not, we not doing this no more. So something ended. All right. But we got the Knight of Wands right here. There's somebody who has a lot of passion, takes a lot of action, takes action towards the things that they want. Okay. This person could be very, maybe sexually active also, okay? But they stuck. They stuck in their feelings. They stuck in their thoughts. They feel like they just can't. Like you ever had this feeling like about something or somebody? It's just like, it's, it's like this gut feeling. And you feel like you just cannot seem to get yourself out of these thoughts and these feelings no matter what it is that you do every time you turn around it's just like right there that's how this person is feeling okay that's how this person is feeling they want to apologize to you for their toxic ass ways mm -hmm. i knew it was about to get down with it i knew that we was about to get because it was just seemed a little bit too good to be true over here not libra okay but somebody want to apologize you're going to get a message again here's this message so get ready to receive if this hasn't already happened somebody's going to message you all right this person could be younger than you this person could act childish this person could act immature you know what i'm saying take it as it resonates but this may be an apology okay this person could have like some type of addictions. It could be sex. It could be money. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. Um, but I feel like there's definitely some low vibrational energy that is attached to this person. All right. They could be very obsessed with you because the devil energy also speaks about obsession. Or this person can be very codependent also. All right, but we're going to clarify and we're going to see. Spirit, tell us about, yeah, they want to work on something with you, though. Or either you want to work on something with them. Flip up the energies around. You guys know how this goes. That's my bird, Leo. I guess he just want to be heard, too. We're going to let him talk. 
Are you done, honey? You done? Okay. All right. <laughs> Keep doing it all the time. It just never fails. Like, I never can. I can't talk. Like, he, he talks over me. I don't. Whatever. Knight of Wands energy. Some of y'all, y'all might have somebody that just want to talk over you and just don't want to hear out what you say. They might try to feel like somebody might just try to, like, get the last word in. Like, they might, like, you never really get to explain or say what it is that you want to say. It's like, you got to talk over this person or it's a constant back and forth or it's something like that. Maybe. I don't know. This person was always in and out of Now, this is clear. We're doing a bad health now. Did this person's addictions, they sex addictions or something, get them somewhere that is causing them some type of health problems now? Because this person was a player. This person was in and out your life. In and out. In and out. Somebody here was a player. Somebody was in and out of somebody's life. Always on the go, always somewhere, always doing something, always swinging something, legs always open, like addictions, okay? Very unhealthy habits. They ain't doing too good. Just out here being impulsive, just doing stupid shit. Doing stupid shit, being impulsive. Jumping into shit, just doing stuff before and not even thinking about it. They just doing it. This where it landed them at. This is this this is this is the energy that they're in. They're not doing so well right now. Hmm. You guard it, you don't trust this person. You don't trust them as far as you can see them. All right? You got your guards up. You don't trust this person. You like, hold on. I don't know where you been or what it is that you've been doing, but baby, mm -mm, don't come over here with that. I don't want nothing to do with that. I had to let this go. This is too much of a burden for me. It's just too much. It's like you ever look at somebody and you know that they so full of shit and you know that this person just out here like for the streets. Like, you know, you hear about stuff, you find out information and you was dealing with this person. And then it's like, then they come back to you and you kind of just like get this feeling in your stomach where it's just like, ugh. Like, ugh. Mm-mm. I felt that way about somebody. Mm-hmm. It's just like, make my stomach turn. Like, no, no thanks. I'm cool. I don't trust you as far as I can see you, baby. And I apparently, I barely see you because you always out here running around in the streets, doing what you're doing, legs wide open, things slanging all around, not thinking before you do shit. That's why your ass sick now. Give me one more with this bad health, please, spirit. When will these people ever learn? We got the higher fight. Y'all gonna be dealing with this for us. This could speak of spiritual lessons. Okay, maybe spirit is trying to teach this person a lesson. Okay? This person could have been in a commitment. They could have been in a marriage. This could have been a spiritual connection that this person was in. With you, okay. Some of you guys, this could be your twin. For those of you that resonate with a twin, not everybody is on a twin flame journey, so not everybody's going to resonate with that. But this definitely speaks about a very high end spiritual connection, or this can speak about spirit teaching this person a lesson like, Oh, you don't want to sit down? I got you, I'm gonna make you sit down because you're doing too much right now. You doing too much. And it could have been the fact that they were doing this to you. Especially if this is a, a, a very spiritual connection like that. And this person was out here fucking around on you. And playing you. And doing all type of stuff to you. Third party energies. In and out of your life. 
acting like you don't matter. You always going to be there. Oh, Spirit was like, don't worry about this, baby girl, baby boy. I got this. I'm going to sit him down for a minute. Okay? I'm going to sit him on down for a minute. I'm going to make him think about some stuff. Okay? You got some lessons to learn here, buddy. And I feel like somebody is learning the hard way. Everything's not curable. You got the sun card at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. This person can realize something now. Do they realize something? Have they learned some lessons? I don't know, because they might not even learn their lessons yet. They might just think that it's you. Who knows? <sighs> we got the high priestess. It's a lot of secrets. Now, when it comes to us, it ain't no secrets, because we figure out all the secrets, y'all. But yeah, somebody could be using their intuition. Somebody could be hiding something. We're going to see. Spirit, tell us about this poverty. Somebody walking away from something that no longer serves them. Y'all could have been with this person for eight years, eight months, whatever. Y'all could have lived with this person. Y'all could have been married to this person with the higher part. But somebody's leaving a home, okay? This person's walking out of this home with barely anything, all right? And just looking back like, damn... Like damn, I'm I really I'm I'm I, I'm I'm gone. I have to leave. Like I, I feel like there's nothing but memories of love here now. There's nothing but memories of love here, and a lot of those memories were not good memories. That's why whoever this is is walking away. They walk walking away for a very good reason. All right. Third party, three of swords, again. So we got three threes. Somebody got their heart broke. Somebody went through a very painful situation. And with this person out here running around like they ain't got no damn sense, ain't no telling everything on the real deep side of this marriage or this connection, spiritual connection, marriage, whatever the case it is, really what happened behind closed doors. If y'all get what I'm saying. This was a storm. This was unexpected. This was like, it's just like something hit. Something happened. And baby, when it did, everything went haywire. Okay? Somebody got hurt so bad, I feel like... There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of resentment. There was a lot of pain. I don't know how long y'all was with this person, but I feel like y'all felt like it took a while for you to be able to heal. Some of you guys are still trying to heal from this. Because that shit hurt it. For somebody that you was committed to, somebody that you loved, Somebody that you invested your time and your energy into to just hurt you like this? Love does not hurt. There may be some ups and downs, but it doesn't hurt to a point where a person feels like, how am I about to put myself back together after this? Like, you broke me. Somebody's watching, spying, riding past your house, trying to get some information all on your social media, being nosy, just watching, just spying, trying to see what you up to because you left. You left. You like shit. Mm -mm. It's too painful. Three of swords again. It's too painful. Like I've never felt any type of pain like this before. Like, you did this to me. I don't even know if I can ever forgive you. I will, but it's going to be a long ass time before I do. Because right now, I, got, I have to heal from this. Oh, Spirit, tell me more. Give me one more with this poverty, please. I got to heal. 
I gotta heal. I need some time. Hmm. It's a lot of time and energy and money invested into this connection. A lot. Could have been seven years. Too much manipulation. Too much trickery. Too much to being deceived. Now somebody just closed off. Trying to heal themselves. Trying to get to pick up the pieces. All right? To this relationship. From this relationship. Something that they thought that it, it was solid. No, it wasn't. Somebody trying to figure something out. All right, Spirit. Let's see. Tell us about this hermit. Oh, Leo, quiet now. Oh, that's because he eating fat cell. What's this hermit card, Spirit? Spirit, tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this hermit. Somebody doing some soul searching, trying to figure out resting. They don't want nothing to do with love right now. Nothing to do with love right now. That's why the heart is on the outside of the swords. She's here. She's curled up. She's lonely. She's by herself. She's healing. Having to put herself back together again because of love. Loving this person that put you in this, in this position to have to heal from a broken heart. Now you're trying to figure things out. Okay? But you're going to get victory. Six of Wands. You're going to get victory. Okay? Tell us about this chariot. Tell us about this chariot. Trying to find the willpower to move on, honey. Okay? Somebody's trying to find the willpower to move on after this ending. Or this is somebody may want to come and see you. Because I said you was going to get this message. I said the chariot was someone wanting to come and see you. Wanting to come and pay you a visit. But I don't think that you guys are on that right now. You're still healing. You're still trying to get yourself back up to, you know what I'm saying? Like how you used to be before you went through this toxic situation with this person. All of this time, you've been going through this. It could have been for years. It could have been for months. However long, nobody deserves to be put in a situation like this where they are healing from a broken heart. Like, love doesn't hurt. It doesn't. But this one did. Somebody here is not sleeping. Somebody's not eating. Somebody's up all night. Somebody's having nightmares. Spirit could be all up in this person's head and, and, and dreams and everything, torturing them the way that they tortured you. So no, they're not doing very well right now. They know player, player way, uh, player wet, player at ways that they were stuck in. No, no more. Because this person ain't doing too good with this bad health. And now they have an anxiety. They up all night. They ain't sleeping too good because it's over. It's over. It's done. They they realize that it's messed up. But they want to message you. They want to come see you. They want to talk to you. Spirit, tell me about this three of cups. Tell me about this three of cups. Hmm. Hmm. They want to rebuild. They want to invest more time and effort into this connection. They want to give equally to the connection now. 
Oh, they learning them spiritual lessons. Spirit ain't playing with them, honey. You can best believe your spirit guides, their spirit guides, your ancestors, their ancestors. With this being a marriage or a very high spiritual connection, oh, baby, they ain't playing no games with them. They are not playing any games with them. That's why they want to come see you. They want to take you out for some drinks. They want to invest in this. They want to give equally now. They want to work on this. They want to rebuild this. They want to start all over so it can be solid. They want to dot their I's and cross the T's. They want to make sure that they don't fuck up this time. Hmm. Spirit getting in that ass, huh? Okay. All right. Go spirit. For they sneaky, lying, deceiving, trifling ways. It don't pay to be like this to somebody. Somebody that care about you. Somebody that love you. Somebody that's down for you. Somebody that invests in you. Somebody that lets you into their energy. Somebody that opens their self and their heart to you. How dare you? How dare you? Did you really think that you were going to be able to get away with that? Did you really think that you was going to be able to keep being in and out of somebody's life and not have to deal with the consequences? Or you thought that this game was going to last forever, didn't you? Hmm. Spirit, tell me about this time. Could have had a family with this person. All right. You're trying to gain control of your emotions. You're trying to stay strong with the strength. You're trying to have a lot of courage. You're trying to control your emotions for your family, for your children. You don't want them to see you like this. So you have to stay strong. You have to put on this brave face. Okay, you have to not let the world see that you're damaged and you're hurt and you're trying to heal right now because you still have responsibilities. You're guarded. You're setting boundaries. You don't want this person anywhere near you. You don't want nothing to do with this fool. What's this Knight of Wands? Spirit, what's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, we see what the community is now. Community D or Community P. Too many people. I said that though. I said it was too many people. People gossiping and, and talking and, and all it is. Don't have nothing better to do with their life. Like, sex is overrated. Like, you sharing yourself with everybody. So you you getting uh, spiritually transmitted diseases and, and uh, spiritually transmitted entities attached to you and people's demons attached to you because this person done slept with 50 people and, uh, and that person done slept with 100 people. So now you slept with them. You done slept with 150 people. You understand what I'm saying? Like, ugh, that's nasty. That's disgusting. People don't understand how this really goes. You're not supposed, you're supposed to have enough respect for yourself that you're not sleeping around with everybody. You don't know who these people be sleeping with and who they sleeping with and who they sleeping with. It's too much of that going on. Everything's not curable. Now this person wants you to be patient with them. Patience. I think I've been more than fucking patient. Okay? They want to heal. They want to have balance. They want you to be patient. Spirit, tell me about this devil card. Tell me about this devil, please. All oh, this damn betrayal. We know this already. We know what they was doing. Now look, they all up in their head. Don't think about it now. It's too late. What's that song I just heard? It's too late to apologize. It's too late 
I can't sing, y'all. But y'all know what I'm saying. I mean, I kind of can sing. But not right now. I can't sing. Anyways, betrayal. They betrayed you. It could have been up to five times. For some of y'all, this person bought y'all back something. Y'all had to go to the doctor. Y'all had to get checked out. This person was playing the hell out of crazy. Baby, these addictions ain't nothing to, ain't nothing to play around with. Like, these addictions be serious. Sex, money, alcohol, drugs, whatever the case may be. Them addictions be serious. It's just not something that somebody can stop. Somebody just doesn't wake up one day and say, oh, I don't want to be addicted to sex anymore. I'm just going to sleep with one person. How? That's impossible. You need some type of help. Because obviously one person isn't enough for you. I don't care if they love you to death. If this person has a sex addiction, you'll never just be enough for them. This person needs some help. Professional help. And that's what spirit is making this person see. That's why spirit did this to this person. Because of what they did to you. You're going to learn today. Ah, spirit, tell us about this page of cups, please. Tell us about this page of cups. Mm, 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 mm. Tell us about this page of cups, please, spirit. Tell us about this page of cups. Communication, back and forth, text messages. So we got messages over there. We got messages here. We got messages right there. Baby, this person is losing their shit right now. They're trying to get in contact with you. They need to talk to you. They do. I feel like this person don't want to lose you. They probably really are sorry for what they put you through and what they did. But somebody's taking some type of action. Whoever this is, you or them, take an action. Want to apologize. They have something they, they want to say. This could be back and forth communication over the phone. Some take an action coming to see you. Whatever. Spirit, what's this Knight of Wands right here? Tell us about this Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. Tell us about this Knight of Wands. Yeah. <clears throat> this person could have been traveling to go see people. I don't know. But y'all moved away from this. Y'all, we y'all y'all moved away from this. This it, it was just too much. Give me one more with this night with this night of wines, please, Spirit. Give me one more with this night of wines. Yeah, this was your husband or your baby daddy. Now he's just stuck. Just stuck. Feeling stupid. Looking. Because you left. You you moved away. You moved to calmer waters. You packed up your shit. And you left. Now they, some, now they looking crazy. Just looking crazy. Just looking stupid. Just how they 